So this video will show options for applying datum targets to cylindrical datum features. So let's see the datum reference name that was set on this part, A-B, C, D. Okay, so A-B, remember, is two datum features that are establishing one datum. So A1 is labeled here as this phantom line going across that cylindrical surface. That in our Y14.5 standard states that it's going to be a circular element that collapses at that basic distance. So it's only a circular cross section that you're going across that cylindrical feature. And that's going to be at this basic dimension of 750. So that's going to create a center point, the makings of an axis. Now you have the other side, you have B1, B2, B3, and those three targets will establish the other side of the axis. Now here it's hard to tell with this triple bubble like this, so in the side view you can see it better. B1 is an X here, B3 and B2 around it, 120 degrees apart, will be a collapsing set of three targets, like, like a three-jawed chuck that would make contact and center that point up. So when you do that circular cross-section on this side and the three points on this side, that will create your A-B axis. Now you could do three targets on this side, three targets on this side. You could also do a circular element here and a circular element here. As a training exercise, I wanted to show both examples in one slide here. But either one, circular cross-section, circular cross-section, or the two sets of three points to establish your A-B axis. All right, we still need to constrain the six degrees of freedom, so that would be the translation left and the rotation left. So to stop the translation, they picked C1 here. So C1 is going to be a point that is going to be at 1.550 off the center. Now we need one more to constrain rotation, and they just picked a plain old hole here, D, and that hole is going to be put at dead nut 6 o'clock to constrain the rotation. So all of the datum reference frame is created from those combination of targets and that last datum feature, D. Look where all the basic dimensions are coming from. All the basic dimensions are coming from where that origin is in that corner. And of course, everything's centered on that axis A-B. Now, as a new option in 2018, you can use a combination of the datum feature symbol and datum targets. This used to be a conflict, like what do you want to be the datum feature, the entire surface or only three points? So in 2018, they said you can use both. But if you use a datum feature symbol along with your targets, you have to clarify that this is being established by targets. You do that by writing the target letter and then the numbers of the targets next to them. So this would be the B1, comma 2, comma 3. The A over here is established by a single A1 target and then C is established by a C1 target. So that's a nice clarification. That's now a reference that that's not the entire datum feature, but it's only a target up at the point. And you have to find that target by looking on the drawing for that datum target symbol. So I think this was a good addition because when I first look at a drawing, I look for datum feature symbols. And the datum targets don't automatically go to my eyes. So I like this. This is, oh, B is this cylinder. Oh, but not the entire thing, it's just three targets, and then I find where the targets are to get a better grip on where that datum reference frame is. Good addition, I think.